Hey folks, today I'm going to be explaining why the Prime Weld Cut 60 is a better value than the Lotos LTP 6000. I'm going to point out some things in this video that you should be mindful of when looking at these two machines and why ultimately the Prime Weld Cut 60 is the better buy. Both of the machines that I'm talking about in this video will be linked down in the video description. So if you want to reference these machines on Amazon, I will have them linked down below. The first thing that you really should consider about these two machines is the warranty. Anytime you're buying one of these plasma cutters or welders or TIG welders, that are made overseas that are not by the big high-end brands like Lincoln and Hypertherm and Miller and all of those that are very, very expensive is the quality control. And these machines, they're pretty good on quality control, but you want to make sure that you're backed up by a solid warranty so that if you have any issues, you can get them resolved right away and then you have your working machine ready in your shop. Prime Weld really steps up to the plate and they have a three-year warranty on all of their machines and they actually pay for shipping to and from. It's a really solid warranty that's based in the US with USA customer service. That is a huge, huge value and something that is worth a lot when you're buying a machine as complex as a plasma cutter. And you can really rest assured that your machine is gonna be 100% percent working order as it's intended to be and you have that support from prime weld for three years to make sure that that is the case however if you take a look at the lotos on their website they only advertise a one-year warranty and i've heard from a couple of buyers reading reviews that they actually have to pay for shipping to send the machine in. And when you're shipping in a machine this large, it can be quite expensive. So the amount of money that you have to pay to and from for the repairs can be pretty costly. So with all of that in mind, I definitely think the Prime Weld is the better option just based on the warranty alone, but let's go even deeper because there's more things that you should look at. The next thing that you should definitely look at is the torch connection. I really like what Prime Weld did. They went with a Euro central connection here on the front. As you can see, this connection all in one for the torch and then all in one for the ground clamp or work clamp, whatever you like to call it. If you look at the Lotos, they have the separated torch design with multiple different connections. You have one for the pilot arc, so three for the torch. This setup I'm not a huge fan of because if you take a look at the torch, this is the connection right here for the pilot arc, this little tiny connection. If you put any kind of pressure on this, which can happen when you're moving your torch cord around, especially if you have it as far, you know fully extended from your machine, these things can break. So I really like the design of the all-in-one torch on the Cut 60. I think it's heavy duty. I think it's better than the Lotos, and I think that's another great selling point. Another big thing to consider is that the Prime Weld is actually dual voltage. It can be ran on 110 or 220, now keep in mind, if you run it on 110, you are only gonna be able to turn it up to about 20 amps. So you're only gonna be able to cut about quarter inch mild steel. Whereas if you're on 220, you can cut up to three quarter inch and even sever almost an inch. So there's a pretty big performance loss if you run it on 110, but you still have that option, okay? You can run it on 110 or 220 and get the full blown performance. If you go with the LTP 6000, this is only 220. So you can only use this in a shop that has a 220 plug. And this kind of limits you where if you were wanting to take your machine out and do a project outside of the house or take it to a buddy's house and use it over there and he doesn't have 220 in his shop, you can't do it with the Lotos. But with the Prime Weld Cut 60, it comes with the adapter, as you can see here, it comes with the adapter to switch it over to 110. And it, these machines are small enough that you can lift them up off of, a, off of a table, put them in the back of your pickup and you know move them around. They're not so big that they're hard to move. So having the option of 110 is actually really nice. A Couple other things to look at is the torch. I really like the torch on the Prime Weld. It's heavy duty um, and it has a swivel on it. It just seems a lot better. If you take a look at the low toast torch, it just does not look as high of quality. Um, the consumables for both of these machines are readily available, so finding consumables shouldn't be a problem for either of them. But at this same price point, I just really think that Prime Weld has a better designed machine. Um, we own the Cut 60. I will post a link to our performance test in the video below where we cut quarter inch, half inch, three quarter inch, and one inch thick mild steel with this machine and kind of give you a little bit of a tour and shakedown of it. So you guys can check that video out as well. A lot of people like that uh, cutting test because it makes the results very clear and easy to see. But this, this Prime Weld Cut 60 machine is a stud, man. It really is, I think, one of the best value machines in this price range. A lot of power, huge capability. It's really on the cusp of, you know, heavy 
uh, you know, weekend warrior use all the way into professional use. I mean, this is a machine that can really be used in a professional environment and has the performance uh, for that environment. For the price, anything less than a thousand bucks, you're not going to find a machine that beats the Prime Weld Cut 60. Without a doubt, just a really solid machine. If you guys have any questions about this machine or the Lotos or any of the other plasma cutters, uh, feel free to post them in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you guys out. And you can check my channel out as well. I have a bunch of different plasma cutter videos on there helping people kind of navigate through all of their different options. Um, but lately, Prime Weld has been really one of the best sellers because of their great warranty and people are starting to catch on that their machines are built really well and they're just a great value. So. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. I'll have the links to both of these machines down in the video description. Any questions, feel free to post them below. All right, guys, have a good one, and we'll see you in the next one.